So here we have the Mini Convertible on a 16 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, uh, you'll see that given the fact that it's a convertible, we've got a decent amount of boot space there. Uh, you can increase it further by folding down the 50-50 split folding rear seats, should you wish to do that as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer um, in the middle, and over on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge for the car. Also in the middle within the speedometer, you can see the total miles of 15,369, so very low mileage. The information displayed above that can be changed by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer, as you can see. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter, and on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. You'll only be able to use the phone controls once you pair the phone up to the car, which is done over on the central screen just here. Uh, you can see that this car's got a reversing camera, uh, which is very handy, of course. Uh, to pair your phone, you go up to the telephone heading and then enter that menu and you would go down to Bluetooth devices and pair your phone from there. All of the movement I'm making on the screen is being done using this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. So we can go back to the main menu, use the dial to highlight, for example, your radio, push the dial down, you're into the radio menu. You can see we've got FM, AM and DAB radio available. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You do that under the multimedia heading. And again, we've got a number of ways in which we can do that. So USB input, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly and auxiliary input as well. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And when you're happy with those settings, the air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off, back on again. Or hit auto, the car will now take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain these temperatures for you. Press auto again, and you go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. We have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings. And the same over here for the passenger side as well. Beneath that, we can turn off our traction control. We can start and stop the engine from here. And this button turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. We then have a 12 volt charging socket, our USB and auxiliary inputs, and the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. The last thing I want to talk about is the roof for the car. We have a button up here that will open up, first of all, the front section of the roof, so it will stop just there, so it becomes a kind of a sunroof. Go back to the button, do the same thing again. This time, all of your windows will go down, and the roof will fold back, as you can see. So very, very quick to do. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.